This week on the Trend Out Loud podcast. First it was abortion, now affirmative action. What's next? All right, today you're going to hear a lot about affirmative action, why it was implemented, and why it's been overturned. I'm going to try to sum it up for you guys in a couple of quick sentences to keep it very simple. What affirmative action meant indirectly was the U.S. government saying, okay, we understand that there was slavery, we understand that there was Jim Crow, redlining, and systematic oppression for minorities and black people, so we're going to allow affirmative action which means we're going to allow universities to consider race as a factor in admissions to hopefully bring in more diversity into their universities. Today, the U.S. Supreme Court overturning that rule is the U.S. Supreme Court indirectly saying, all right, we understand that we brought you guys here to this country as slaves. We understand that there was Jim Crow. We understand that there was redlining. And we also understand that for 45 years, we allowed affirmative action. But that stops here. So we suppressed you. We did all of these things for hundreds of years. We gave you a little advantage. We gave you a little bit of a, a boost for 45 years to get an education, but now that's out the window. That is what today's decision means. That is what the U.S. Supreme Court is saying to us as minorities, as black people. Hey, man, listen, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. We gave you a little nudge. The rest is up to you, buddy. So you guys decide if you think that is fair. You guys decide if you think hundreds and hundreds of years of systematic oppression, of slavery, Jim Crow, redlining, um, uh, police brutality, just every single thing that you've ever heard come from discriminating of minorities and the U.S. government uh, repealing affirmative action, which doesn't even amount to that list that I, that I gave you. I mean, you could go back in history of, you know, the things that the U.S. government has has tried to implement to help minorities. Um, there's Voting Rights Act, which they're trying to repeal that. Um, you know, they can't even uh, get through uh, the George Floyd Policing Act. That's not even a law. There is a, a, a minor amount of laws that have been passed in the Supreme Court or in Congress that are helping to offset the wrongs that have been implemented in the United States of America for hundreds and hundreds of years. And the one law that was there that helped black and minorities get a higher education to help them get better jobs, to help them get placements, to help them get careers, to help them bring their families out of poverty, that one little small advantage that you gave us is now taken away. After 45 years, Hundreds of years, 45 years. That is what today's decision means. And if this is a result you're going to hear of senators and this, exact, et cetera, et cetera. I'm going to tell you this is a result of Donald J. Trump. Donald Trump, when he was president for four years, he put in three justices in the Supreme Court, all conservative. That's why... People don't realize, not only was he just a bad president, forget about that. What he has done is he has, has shifted the laws of the land to be conservative, to be the way how he thinks. And that's why he appointed those justices. And these justices don't get four years like he did. They stay there until they die. <laughs> so I don't know how old these people are, but some of them are in their 50s and 60s. So these kind of laws that are very, very conservative, quote unquote, um, white, are going to be around for the next 20, 30, 40 years until these people die and then you have the new justices come in. The U.S. Supreme Court is the highest court in the land. So any law that gets decided, uh, Joe Biden can make a decision as the president or any president can make a decision and it can go through the Supreme Court and get shot down. He's trying to get something passed now for student debt and that has to go through the Supreme Court and he's the president. That's how, that's how much of an effect Donald J. Trump has had on America. That's how powerful the U.S. Supreme Court is. Um, and like I said, there was abortion. Uh, there is now affirmative action. Uh, voting rights, the U.S. 
is 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 indirectly peeling back all the progress they have made for minorities um, in the country. That that's that's what we're seeing, and this is just the beginning. Um, it's it's shocking to me. It's um, it's I I can't. I can't believe something like this would happen um, in, in 2023. Um, and, and more importantly, this is, you know, I don't know if they call this a super precedent, but it's definitely a precedent. And I understand, I was just watching CNN and there was somebody saying that a precedent doesn't mean that it can never go away. A precedent just means that, you know, it's something that, you know, is, is, is um, it, it has been reinforced, but it doesn't mean that it can never go away. But for this to have been the law of the land for 45 years and for this to be a precedent and for this to have been the second, um, I think they, they, they did say that abortion was a super precedent. Um, so for two um, major precedents in the United States to have been overturned by this conservative court, wow, man, wow. There is no telling uh, what what America is going to end up being like in the next, you know, 10, 15, uh, 20 years. Um, there is a, a quote by um, RBG, uh, and she said, she used, she used this example of saying, getting rid of affirmative action is like getting rid of an umbrella during a rainstorm just because you're not getting wet. So it's like, okay, we understand that this has been around for 45 years, we understand that black and minorities are doing way better, but it doesn't mean that we still don't need some laws in place to make sure that we have advantages. Um, yes, we're not in a storm. There's, we're not in slavery uh, right now, you know, but there's still systematic oppression. There's still police brutality. We still need more laws on our side to make sure that we have um, you know, equal rights. And now you're putting the, uh, uh, taking away affirmative action, you're putting all of this power in the administration of some of these universities and now they don't have to make sure that they have a diverse student body because they can no longer look at race. So it's a, this is a, it's a horrible time. This is a, a horrible decision. And more importantly, it's like, what what's next? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy, turn it loud. Peace!